Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, so hope you're well. I'm good. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Okay, so basically today we talk about that how we can easily monitor the algal uh, bloom from using the remote sensing technique. Yes. So there are a lot of ways. So first of all, I will try to show you all of this method. After that, we see you want to choose. Then we try to develop this method and then find out the result. Okay. okay. So first of all, here you can, okay. can you see my skin now? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. So this is the one kind of uh, paper about that remote sensing technique for monitoring the algae plumes in the area between that. So in this time, uh, they are used here the different types of indices, such as here you can see. Uh, they are used at the chlorophyll, one kind of parameter. Uh, they are used at the SST, mainly sea surface temperature. Also, you can see the NDTI, normalized difference turbidity index. Also, use at the SSI, surface scum index. Also, you can use at the ABI index, mainly algae uh, bloom index. SABI index, surface algae bloom index. So, NDVI, NWI. So, there are a the lot of index they are used in here. So, and mainly they are used at the two types of data. One is that a MODIS data, another is that Landsat imagery data. So, mainly in this study area, they use the MODIS and Landsat data for effective monitoring and detecting the LJ bloom in the several previous studies. So, first of all, here you can see the MODIS. So, mainly in this time, they are used at the MODIS Aqua satellite data. In this time, MODIS Aqua satellite data to investigate the sea surface chlorophyll. Okay. In the aqua ocean chlorophyll, so mainly that you can see that user the modis aqua data as well as that user at the landset imagery. So mainly in this time, they are used the landset imagery to identify some uh index or indices such as uh, chlorophyll concentration, as well as also they are the different types of spectral indices that are used in here, such as NDTI. You can see the NDTI. Also, you can see that they are used at the surface scum index. So, different types of index they are calculated from that uh, Landsat imagery. Also, NDVI, NDWI. Okay. And after that, they are make the classification. Okay. So, all values of the spectral indices are classified. So, mainly they are classified uh, using the ARCS GIS software 10.3 they are using here. And mainly classification of the values. NDTI, SSBI, all of those indexes they are used in here and classification. Okay. And they are uh, find out this type of class such as very high, uh, greater than uh, less than 0 0.5, mainly it's a target water mixed with the phytoplankton and algae. So less than 0 0.5, it's considered as a very low, then 0 0.5 to 0 0.3, low, 0 0.3 to 0 0.1, medium. And they are put here at the low and very low about that. And in this time, they are using at the all of those index use. Okay. And then uh, mm -hmm. find out this type of classes concentration. After that, uh, they are just make the accuracy assessment using this data. So mainly they are using at the accuracy assessment. Okay. So in this time, this is the one kind of a method in this time. They are used at the two kinds of data. One is the MODIS aqua data, and another is the Landsat imagery to identify the different types of index. And then all of those index they are combined and they make the classification about that. Okay, another index is that if you want, you can use at the uh, Google Earth Engine platform. Suppose this is the one kind of data set. So mainly this data set provide you the uh, aqua bloom. So just I simply show you the data. And it's a totally ready-made data set. It also come from the MODIS. Suppose here you can see, yeah. So mainly it provide the data, uh, this product, MODIS Aqua data. We can easily get from the Google Earth Engine platform also. It will be available between this time period, year of 2002 to 2023. This time period, we can easily get the Aqua Ocean Reflectance Daily Global 200, uh, 1 kilometer, okay. So basically here you can get some of the band about that. You can see 
this is the one kind of band mode is band eight surface reflectance mode is nine so in this time we also get some band about that okay so in this time if you want we can use the data and we can also identify about that uh aqua bloom okay so in this time here you can mm -hmm. see this is the data set then we are just simply filter recording this time periodically with our uh shape file and after that, in this time, we are just showing about that this layer, suppose false color of the bloom. So just we are put here that uh, this band about the band combination, mainly mode is uh, 15, 14, and 13. And uh, we can easily get the true color composite. So here you can see that we are using the mode is uh, 14, 15, and 16. We are using here. Then we are get this type of uh true color false color so it's a false color bloom we can get this mm -hmm. type of false color bloom in this time we can get this type of color and from here after that we are just calculated the uh bloom okay so mainly it is that surface reflectance band 15 minus surface reflectance band 13 when you can uh, subtract the two things then we can get the blooms about that so just we'll show the blooms initial bloom layer so it's the initial bloom layer we can get this type of bloom layer so basically in this time this type of uh, pixel value it show the result for the bloom about that and if you want to find out, suppose in this time you can find out what is the harmful bloom. Okay, so in this time it show all of those bloom. Okay, so they are the not classified. And suppose mm -hmm. you want to make the classified and show only for the harmful bloom. So for that you can just simply uh, suppose I want to show all of those greater than four. Okay, so greater than four, all of those pixels I consider as a harmful bloom. So for that now it shows the result about that all of those uh, blooms greater than four pixel value shares a harmful bloom. So now we can get this type of bloom is the harmful. We can get in here. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can also increase the value. Suppose uh, greater than eight, then we are also get the more harmful bloom. All of this pixel value. We can get this type of bloom is the more harmful from here you want to check about the pixel value suppose click on here we can get the harmful bloom with the 14. Okay. suppose this red mm -hmm. color i want to check about the what is the hello I'm hearing you. We can get the 29 increase about that bloom. As well as uh, we are just put here that initial bloom. We can get this type of things. In it, it show all of those bloom. Okay. But when I want to just uh, put here the less than or just I filter it greater than eight, all of those pixels will considered as a harmful bloom. Then it show only for that things. If you want to put here the suppose two, then we also get the more bloom. Uh, harmful bloom. So basically, it's a uh, greater than five is better for that. And now click to the run, then we can get the result. You can get this reason is the harmful bloom for this time and in this time there we are used only for that modis aqua modis satellite imagery not put here the other type of indices but this paper is very interesting about that so here you can see in this paper they are also add here a lot of index and then make the classification i think uh it's the best way to identify for that uh, blooms okay if you want you can also put here this type of blooms 
So first of all, you have to uh, create this type of index. Okay. Suppose NDWI, NDVI, SABI, SSI, NDTI. This type of spectral index you need to create. Okay. And the spectral index have been developed. So than all of those you can simply develop. And this index you have to differing the uh, abilities when it comes with the spreading the LJ pixel from other pixel. Uh, in this time we are just put here the spectral uh, bands used in, to design their algorithm and satellite data applied. Okay, so in this time here you can see if you want you can also put here this type of algorithm you can easily do. So basically Modis and Landsat it's the combination about the two satellite images and then uh, we are just calculate this type of index using the Landsat and from the Modis we can get the chlorophyll and SST. Okay. Then we are just put here that uh, thresholding value and then make the classification about that uh, high, low, very low um, density of that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I so think I, this is comprehensive. Yeah. So I think it's a better this, part this, that this, because this, in this time there this is, meta a, is comprehensive. Yeah. So if you want to also use this algorithm, so I also send you this paper. So first of all, you try to read this paper properly. After that, uh, if you want to uh, interest about this paper, then we try to start the work with this type of index and then try to find out about, about the uh, LG plumes about that. Okay. Okay, so I send you that. You also try to read about the, all of this paper, all of this accuracy assessment. Then we are just all of those data who is there. So then we try to uh, find out about that. And there, the, I think it's the best way for doing this type of work. And we can easily create this type of map for that different time period about that. Uh, what is the concentration for the different time period? And also make the time tree chart about that. So in this time they are using the ArcMap okay. software, but we had uh, developed this model using the Google Earth Engine platform and monitor these things. Okay. So I send you, you try to uh, read full this paper. Then further uh, next uh, day, we also try to meet and then discuss about that further topic. Okay. So after okay. Uh, 10, okay, so 10 December, you also meet. And then try to discuss about the further. Okay. So in the meantime, you try to read the paper and prepare all of those data set, and then discuss about. It. Okay. On a tenth, right? Yeah. Tenth. Uh, Sunday. Yeah. What time, sir? Yeah, uh, ten Sunday. Okay, we try to meet. Okay, I will let you know about the time. Okay. On WhatsApp, no problem. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You I will send the link also. Prepare the link. You also try to read. Okay, thank you so okay, much. Have a good day. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye. You too.